Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having a Gemini Sun and a Pisces Ascendant in a natal chart. Now, when you have these energies, basically, uh, Pisces Ascendant is going to be trying to conceal and camouflage the Gemini Sun. The person will come across to others as far as their outer demeanor a lot more I would say uh, sensitive, more emotional, a little bit more in, more intuitive. There may be more impressionability, more sensitive to the environment, as a po and, and more maybe a little bit more compassion. And I know Gemini's don't lack. I'm not saying that they lack in compassion, but it's it's emphasized a little more with the water signs. And uh, I think when you look at this combination, obviously they're both mutable signs, so both adaptable. You might, it's, this is a combination that could be very ambivalent, have a lot of ambiguity and a little bit of confusion because you have these two energies that can be very uh, ambivalent. And when you look at this, this is a, a person, when you look at the, the sun sign and the ascendant, the sun sign represents our basic wants. And the rising sign or ascendant can show the manner or method in which one uh, attains these wants. Now, Gemini basic wants may be things connected with mental pursuits, uh, variety, versatility, communication, mental stimulation, and conversation. Now, the, with having Pisces rising, these uh, means may be, uh, may be attained perhaps through something connected with the metaphysical in some cases, such as perhaps astrology, maybe things connected with um, perhaps uh, with their, maybe their intuition uh, to some degree, perhaps through spirituality. It could be the pers uh, Pisces is ruled by Neptune and photography is associated with this. And perhaps, for example, somebody uh, that that likes to take variety of pictures expressing the Gemini need for variety through their photography. It could be a way in which one maybe communicates, uh, for example, and they might, for example, like I stated before with the spirituality or the metaphysical, perhaps the, the Gemini, the strong yearning to communicate may come out through one or, one or more of these, I guess you could say a Pisces-like uh, avenue. And this will, this person, as I stated before, may come across as a little bit uh, more sensitive than the Gemini uh, Sun. And it's interesting combination because the Gemini Sun is a little bit more dealing with the abstract and dealing uh, with, with, with being like very like super objective. And then you have the Pisces uh, rising, which could almost be the antithesis of this. So I think one kind of balances the other out, even though they're in square aspect by sign. Now, getting as far as um, th this goes, now, the aspect can be very important if it makes any. Now, in uh, with, a, with, a Pis with a Gemini Sun and Pisces Ascendant, if the aspect itself is square, such as, for example, having a Gemini Sun at 12 degrees and a Pisces Ascendant at nine degrees, that would be adverse, and that could make the integration even uh, more difficult. And this person at times uh, may feel perhaps misconstrued or misunderstood by others because of this aspect being adversarial, and, and because they're show, well, not necessarily because of that, but because what they they feel they whether they're cognizant of the, these astrological positions or not, they may feel that they're projecting somebody entirely different than what is uh, is their inner going on inside however in some cases you might have an out of sign sextile or trine aspect let's take somebody with the gemini sun at zero degrees and the person let's say their pisces ascendant is 28 degrees that would form an out of sign sextile aspect and that would be auspicious and if somebody uh, were, were to have that, you, you would have a little more, a better integration or blending of the two signs. Now, another example could be, let's say uh, somebody has the trine aspect, and let's say, for example, they have their Gemini sun at 29 degrees, and they have their Pisces uh, ascendant at one degree. That would form an out-of-sign 
trine aspect and that could be auspicious and positive as well and having a good uh, maybe a, more, a little more positive integration because the aspect is good however you still have the the signs which are still uh, are incompatible so you've got to factor that in as well now let's um say that the house placement of gemini can play a role because uh, you could even though the energy of the Gemini Sun may be suppressed a little bit because of the Pisces ascendant it may it can come out still at least fairly strong in the house uh, based on the house placement it's in now if uh, let's say this person has the the Pisces ascendant and their Gemini Sun is in the second house well this restlessness this need for activity and variety may come out strongly perhaps in their possessions and their resources and perhaps in 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 terms of income generated now let's say that the person has the Gemini Sun in their third house now that would be kind of a double whammy or double emphasis of that Gemini Sun energy because it would be in the house that corresponds with the sign Gemini in the third house and you could see this person having a, a lot of being very loquacious and talkative probably a little more so obviously than the average uh, Pisces rising because not only you have the Gemini Sun but you'd have it posited in the third house and if the person has siblings it, then you might see this Gemini need for strong communication and perhaps mental activity come out with them as well now let's say that the person has the Sun Gemini in their fourth house well this could indicate that this person may uh, exude a lot of that Gemini that restlessness that activity that perhaps that need uh, to be uh, I guess you could say for that mental stimulation uh, things of an intellectual nature may come out strongly in their home and uh, in their family life and this could be in and, and perhaps even with uh, the, the mother to some degree such as such as playing trivia with the mother just throwing that out there uh, like a trivial pursuit game with the mother that could be uh, and because the fourth house generally at least how uh, is is the the less dominant parent which is generally more often than not the mother well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having a Gemini Sun and Pisces ascendant in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having a Cancer Sun and Aries ascendant in a natal chart two things I want to get with you on before I head out Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.